Hi friends, this is the review of the Asus 1011PX Atom N45 Netbook PC. I have been using it uh, since uh, three months. Uh, it's actually very good, a very good netbook. It can do almost everything a notebook can do. Uh, it's not very good at gaming other than that Photoshop and uh, everything else works almost fine uh, pre-2005 games work just fine for you so here is the look at the netbook itself first I'm going to show you the charger the charger is very small, pretty small. Okay. Now, taking a look at the netbook. This is the front. Uh, it has something matte finish like. Okay, looking at the right side. Okay. It has the Ethernet port, the Ken Instant Lock port two USBs and the SD card port and uh, the back side of it has this expansive expandable slot for the RAM here is the battery it's actually a very good battery uh, it is uh, a 48 hour battery 6 cell battery uh, it gives me around 7 hours 7 hours working through Wi-Fi okay. on performance mode it gives me 7 hours very good battery okay. uh, and then on the left side we have the charge connector the VGA port okay. and then the USB port and here is the fan and uh, these are the vents for speaker and some vents for exhaust okay. so removing it sorry opening it uh, reveals the full keyboard plus the 10.1 inch LED backlit LCD display here is a 0 0.3 megapixel camera and here is the microphone and the keyboard is a chiclet keyboard okay and it's fine uh, the trackpad is the multi-touch trackpad mm. sorry for the video quality it's actually samsung galaxy 3 phone recorded from the samsung galaxy 3 phone just qvj resolution so i don't have any other video camera such thing this is my first video review Okay, and then this shows the N455 processor, Intel Atom inside. Okay, I have been using this device for two to three months. It is dual booted. Uh, it is running Ubuntu 11 plus Windows 7 Home Premium. Let me just enter the password. Uh, and this is the desktop I have set up for my preferences okay so let me play you first to show you the browser how it works Firefox
I'm opening YouTube. First of all, I have to see this place YouTube just fine. Up to 720p works just fine. Works really fine. Okay, let me play your video, a HD video for you. It's connected to the Wi-Fi, so just uh, off Mbps Wi-Fi connection broadband. Okay, so let us give it some time to load up. It's right now playing in 360p mode. It's a slight load. You can hear it easily. I'm not bad, actually. And for the most part, the other players treat me like just another one of the guys. I work as a professional model, but lately, I have a dream of starting my... As it is, uh very slow network connection i can't show you 720 dB, but i can see you i can show you it plays 720 dB fine and let me show you some games here's the angry birds radio game Also, let me show you San Andreas. San Andreas works just fine. Ma Mafia also works fine. It's actually pretty good for pre-2005 games like GTA Vice City, NFS un Underground, NFS 2. Etc. works fine in low to medium settings. Okay, the GTA San Andreas is working now on the medium display settings. You can see the LCD, the LED backlit LCD display is quite nice. Some clearer blacks that usually don't come in an LCD, a normal LCD. Also, it is anti reflective. Okay, so you don't get the reflection of the light. You can uh, read it quite easily in sunlight. Sunlight visibility is quite actually very good. Considering you can walk in the sunlight and you can use it, you can see it very much easily. Colors are good. Here is the view of the keyboard.
Okay, so... I was stealing a car. Let me say, show you some MP3 playback and a video playback. This is the movie Shoot Them Up. It's actually a 700 MB movie. And also, what else can I show you? Here's the camera. Camera, the light shows up, and you can see pretty much the camera functionality. can see my phone there the Samsung Galaxy 3 And uh, let me show you something more. Okay. Let me play some slam music. So now I will show you dual booting it and uh, now I will turn it off and uh, load it up in uh, uh, Ubuntu. Now I am turning it off so that I can load it up in Ubuntu. Actually, Azure's plastop version, Access Gateways, was pre installed in this, but I don't like it, so I removed it and dual booted it Ubuntu and Windows 7 Home Premium.
I'm turning it on again. This is the boot, typical boot. It shows the Ubuntu in different modes and the Windows 7 loader. Right now, I'm going to select Ubuntu, the normal one. 11.04 version of it it's actually quite faster and easier to use the specs of the device the key specs of this netbook include 10 inch screen uh, camera keyboard chiclet type keyboard uh, 6 cell 48 whatever battery, 1 gigs of RAM, 250 gigabytes of hot disk, mm, and that's everything in the box. Charger, that's all from the box. It came. I'm pretty happy with the network using it for the past three months. I actually, I have to say it, it has almost replaced my laptop. A go to your laptop made by Philips. Yeah. So login. And now you can see it's loaded Ubuntu. Sorry for the bad camera quality. This is my first review. So no offense. Peace. Peace. Rate, subscribe, comment and please do click the ads. Thank you. If you have any doubts, please ask me regarding this. This is a mouth mouth watery deal. I got this online for 12,000 rupees. That is $200. Is good. But no worries. It came only with the express gate. So I have to load the OS myself. And also it came with the driver CD. So can, you can see here. Firefox loads faster. And box foster here.